Here's a job you'll do a lot in your lifetime. Plug stripped holes and bolt on necks. This is a real fender neck and it's got a stripped hole here. I don't know how that happened. You see it a lot on bolt on necks off the shelf when someone's putting a kit together and they don't get the holes right. And they plug them and redrill them sometimes a couple of times. Somewhere along the line they strip it out. Often you get that neck up on eBay for sale and the body goes somewhere else. I'm going to show you an old woodworker's trick for fitting a dowel into this perfectly. It's pretty obvious that hole is not going to hold a mounting screw. If I want to see what size that hole is, I use a dowel gauge. They're numbered on the side. This is 173 thousandths. These come in a set from very small all the way up to a quarter of an inch, every thousandth of an inch. That's how you measure holes. The dowel I want to use is a 3 16th from the hardware store. That's approximately 187 thousandths. And it's too big for the hole. So now I've got to choose a drill bit that's bigger than 173 and smaller than 187 so I get a tight fit. I'm going to use a number 14 drill bit. That measures 182 thousandths, which is 5 thousandths smaller than 316, so it'll be a tight fit. In the 60s, I started out with something like this that I'd get at Sears, and I thought that was great, but I couldn't drill all the holes I needed to. Then I started hanging around with better woodworkers and machinists and found out about numbered bits and letter bits, the full index, that's what they call it. Okay, now I'm using my dowel gauge to center the hole. Once I get that in position, I'm clamped tight. I've got a radius block here to support the curve of the fingerboard, so I'm level to the table, and I'll switch it out for a drill bit. I'm not taking much out, just sizing that hole up from 173 to 182 and it's round now and clean on the walls. We now have a clean hole in the neck. And one of the tricks I learned from some of those guys was if you want to size a doll, you drill a hole in a piece of steel, it could be a quarter of an inch thick or thin or whatever, you clamp that down on your drill press and drill a nice clean hole through and you drive the dowel through it and it sizes it. It'll shave wood off or it compresses it down and it makes it round. There's a number 13 drill bit. It measures 185. I'm drilling into a quarter inch piece of steel. It should drill pretty easy. When you drill metal, you can get flying chips. Wear your safety glasses. In a minute, I'm going to pound a dowel down through this hole to size it. And before I do that, I'm going to taper the end to make it go through easier. You can cut off a dowel this small with a hobby knife. Just roll it to center till it pops off. Go through a couple of times and that takes the dowel that's out around and too big. And it's going to bring it down to just what I want. It'll be round and it'll be 185 thousandths in diameter. A tight fitting dowel is fun to hammer through. That's the depth of my hole. There's the tapered end of my dowel that I'll be driving down into the hole and there's where I'm going to cut it and I'll have about the perfect depth before I even go to put it in. When I press that down in there it's going to be a tight fit and when I redrill it for the screw for the right size hole there will be a little bit of wood on the sidewalls held tight because I got the good fit. I'm using a leather punch to cut a hole in a piece of tape and that's going to go around the dowel and protect the finish from the super glue that I'm going to use to install the dowel with. I use a Q-tip to get down in there, medium viscosity, number 20 super glue, plenty of it and I got to work fast because it's drying. You can see the smoke come off that Q-tip even. It's drying that quick. Get the glue in, pull off the tape, get the dowel down in there. As it turns out, this dowel didn't go all the way flush, but darn close to it. So I let it dry about 20 minutes and then come in with a real sharp chisel and work around the outside and pair it flush to the surface. I use two drill bits because the first one is smaller and it'll stay concentric. That's the pilot bit. That was a number 51 drill bit. Once I drill the hole with that, then I can follow with a bigger bit and it won't run out on me. I'm going to follow that with a number 30 drill bit. That measures 128 thousandths. That's my final hole for the threads to cut down into. This is beeswax. You could use paraffin or paste wax. 
it lubes those threads as they go in and kind of seals up the wood. Remember this dowel in there is end grain dowel. That's not the same as the wood the neck's made out of and it's weaker. That's why I drilled a little bit bigger hole than the original factories. So I wouldn't go in there and be fighting that wood and strip it all out. Even then it's a tight, tight fitting thread. It's just what I wanted. <laughs>